Okay, um, many of our customers have asked us about how to perform the injection timing set procedure on the 6.5 diesels. We sell a lot of injection pumps for those and there's a lot of confusion out there on how to do the injection pump timing set procedure. So we're doing this procedure today on a 1996 Chevy uh, 6.5 diesel and the scan tool that we'll be using today is a uh, made by Autofix. It's called the D1 Lite. That's a really neat little um, Android tablet based scan tool that so far we've just been really impressed with. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and show you how to do this. Um, you would first want to navigate into the powertrain menu and then once you're in the powertrain menu we'd want to go here to the special functions. Uh, once you're in special functions we need to navigate to engine and then to time set. Uh, so just a quick note here, where a lot of people go wrong is they're just going into the data list function on the scan tool. And in the data list function, you can read these same two PIDs that we're showing here, the desired injection pump timing and the actual injection pump timing. And a lot of people will try to set the timing there, uh, but that's actually not the correct way to do it. We have to go into the special functions and time set uh, area as we've just done here. Okay, uh, you do need to have the engine fully warmed up before you do this. And then um, once we're to this point, the engine's fully warmed up, you need to go ahead and press the on button down here. What happens when you do that is the PCM commands the injection pump into base timing mode. Notice how our desired injection pump timing here dropped to zero and actual reads three and a half degrees. So I've previously, uh, this is actually my own personal truck, and I've previously set the injection pump timing on this one, so it, it should be um, very close to correct. Um, notice how it jumps around a little bit, that's, that's normal. Uh, so I, I should uh, note that the, when you are in the injection pump timing mode, we have commanded it into set timing mode, as I've just done by turning it on, the actual injection pump timing should average out to three and a half degrees, which we're, we're very close to here. Now I've, I've actually cheated a little, a little bit and the engine's not fully warm, so it, it might not be exact, but it's very, very close. Um, so if your timing is not three and a half degrees, you have to shut the engine off. Uh, never, never, ever try to uh, make an adjustment with the engine running. You could uh, very easily um, end up uh, destroying the injection pump. Uh, so you have to shut the engine off, um, make an adjustment by physically rotating the injection pump and notice that or note that it is very very sensitive. So you want to make a good accurate scribe mark or or use the factory marks on the pump and the timing cover, the back of the timing cover is a reference. Uh, make an adjustment and um, I'll note that we also do offer a um, alternative to the factory J tool for actually physically adjusting the injection pump. You can find that on our website as well. That makes the job a lot easier. So uh, you know make your adjustment uh, remember that a little bit is a lot. Uh, go ahead and then lock the injection pump back down and then you have to restart the vehicle. Uh, go back into the injection pump timing set mode as we demonstrated here and then recheck actual injection pump timing. And again, it's very sensitive. It will take some trial and error. It's not uncommon to have three, four, five or more, more times of, of uh, tinkering with it until you get it very close uh, to where it should be, which again is three and a half degrees. Uh, once, you're, once you're happy with your adjustment, uh, you can go ahead and hit off that backs it back out of the ejection pump timing mode. I don't know if you could hear that in the video, but uh, you hear a definite change in the tone of the engine uh, when we're back out of timing set mode. Notice how uh, the desired timing uh, went back up to 9.2 degrees in this case, so that's what the PCM is calling for. Uh, timing is now being advanced, and you hear that in the engine. And notice how the desired and the actual injection pump timing are running right on par with each other. Uh, so after you finish the injection pump timing set procedure, then there's a TDC offset learn procedure that needs to be done. I won't go into that in this video. That would be material for another video. Um, so um, hope this was helpful. And again, uh, we did this using the uh, Autofix D1 light scan tool, which is actually uh, uh, made by Autel. Um, so. 
Hopefully this is helpful for you uh, and have a great day. Thank you.